energy, the tension, the excitement, the electricity. Let's get ready. Buckle up, everybody. It should be a fun one tonight on the ice for EA Sports. Gretzky's won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Here he is from the slot. He scores! And does he? That was amazing, James. Every time he scores, it's like the entire bench elevates. Why? Because he is a leader on this team. He shows that on the ice, and of course, by example, off of it. Well, you can just see the infectious energy that goes throughout this entire lineup when he scores. That's a true testament to his leadership and what he means to this group. We've been waiting all day for this, and it has finally arrived. We're underway here. Now a quick pass to Kearns. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Well, that was a necessary stop on their emotional leader, James. And if he had put that puck in the net, it would have created... He's got a chance on a breakaway. Oh, beautiful save of the play. And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender, so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. Penalty coming up here. Well, the penalty killers are gonna have to beat a task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. Here's the first look at the power play. Well, in a one-goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find... Oh! Swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Cheryl. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Kearns is creating a ton of energy out there because of his drive and compete level. I mean, he is off balance, stumbling, and still manages to find the puck and get it to the net. This creates a scoring chance. Yeah, it doesn't go in, but what it does is it creates energy for his entire team as they build momentum. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. McDonough's almost back on the ice. The Giants take possession of the neutral zone. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. Well, they're going to continue to trail here because they weren't able to get the equalizer on the power play. A missed opportunity, and really, timing is everything, so they'll have to figure out a way to dictate pace and get back on the board. And that's off target as it hits a body. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Scooped up along the wall by Quarles. The Islanders play it along the wing. The Giants have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here's a shot! And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Giants lead it 1-0. Play is back underway. Quick shot on goal. Answered the call there. Quick feed to Kearns. The Islanders move the puck in the defensive zone. Culp's got it along the wing. Quick pass across to Ferraro. And that's a great heads up play by Stahl. Goes right to the crease. Pumped away from danger. Makes it look easy with the stop. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Past the midway mark of the frame. one nothing the score. is back underway here. Here's a blast. Puck grab by Street. How did he stop that one? The Islanders will play it in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The Giants play it along the boards. and that's exactly what he does here. He knows how to manipulate his opponent to open up the lane, but it's all about the pass. It's got to be on the money if you want to do something with it. Puck is dropped, and we are New back goal. underway. Scored by number 99. Grabs control of it at the point. By Puck picked up by Stahl. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. 
From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. The Islanders looking against the half wall. And the, he's got a little jump. All alone! Score! and they have delivered on that leading late in the first. Messier's won it. New York ball, scored by number two. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. Here's a blast! Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it up there. Here in the later stages of this period, 3-0 is where we sit. One team really enjoying this night. The other, not so much. Moves it to Culp. The Islanders have it now. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Through center along the wing. Reaches out and uses the stick. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. And not much on that one. Craig's really struggled tonight, and the team in front of him as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to switch the momentum of this game if they want to get back in it. Pokes the puck away. The Giants gain possession. Street's got it in the defensive end. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Pushes it across to Culp. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's see the call here. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Lundqvist. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Benoit's lugging the puck. The Giants gain control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Cole. He scores! What a finish! Well, you can clearly see what he means to this group, James. He is a leader. When he's on the ice, everyone is looking for him to lead the charge. And he has a beauty goal, and everyone knows it. The Giants will be tough to beat tonight if they continue to play the way they have been. Really active in the offensive zone. Musa quickly over to Ferraro. Here's a shot! Turned aside with the glove by Lundqvist. The Giants will play it from the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Skates to the crease! Oh, a clutch save! Can't get it to go. Sends it over to Colt. Quick pass to Ferraro. Dumps it into the O-zone. Passes over to Leach. And that's off a stick. McClanahan stick handling in his own zone. Coughs it up on the play. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Culp. He carries the puck up along the wing. Shot! Oh, and that one pumps up short as he just gets enough of that one. Fires it! Glove save, and he made it look simple. The goalie makes an incredible stop, but typically he just invigorates his team with his scoring and his timeliness of it. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. More than half the frame has been played here. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. And there's the save. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. His adventurer zone ability is that surprising foot speed that he has when he makes those plays so quickly. Off the face off, they take the puck. Quarles moves the puck. 
Puts it in deep. The Giants have it against the wall. Moves it to Jerusic. Gains the zone through the middle. Jerusic's got the puck. Shot! Too much traffic in the lane. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Here's a short pass to Rizzo. Here we go, odd man rush here. And makes the save. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. The Giants have been rewarded for all their scoring chances tonight as they carry the lead late in this second period. Marcus Trump, we're back on the right. Quick shot! And he turns that one aside. Oh, and it's a score! Small time. James, the game is more than X's and O's. Sometimes it's emotional leadership that comes into play, and that's exactly what this goal means to this entire bench. As you see, everyone erupts when he scores. Gets the puck over to Cox. With the stop. He doubles up the rebound and tucks it home. The Islanders desperately needed that one here. They did, and one of the key elements for them to have success is to support the puck. Feel like they've been isolated a lot in this game, but a lot of runway left over a period to play in order to get back in. Takes the puck. There's the whistle as the puck just throws it up. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Made that stop. There's the horn. Two periods down, a third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Kearns has it in the defensive end. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. And this is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Grips it and whips it! played in this period. The Giants have been the better squad so far tonight. They lead it 5-2. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods. We get underway here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Islanders are right where they should be in this game, James, and that is behind entering the third period. Why? They just haven't had the puck. It hasn't been on... which means they haven't been able to generate anything offensively. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Takes a shot. Nothing. Sometimes when you're playing fast, you can be too fast and you can over-rotate. And this is a huge miss as he's in the middle of the ice in primetime scoring area. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here he is with the backhander. Made the stop on the play. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. The Giants continue to lead big here in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Dumps it in. The Giants gain control of the puck against the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Quick shot! Close save, and he handles it with ease.
Still lots of time left in the period. The Giants lead it 5-2. Colts won it off the faceoff. Taken by McClanahan. Stones him with the blocker. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. The Giants have shown no signs of stopping, putting pucks on that, and they lead it here in this third. Culp's won it in their own end. Behind the net, looking for the transition game. Slides it on over to Street. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. From the open ice, they gain the line. Stopped by the goaltender. Handles the pass. Fantastic save! He's the emotional leader of this team, and he typically scores in this type of situation, but the goaltender shuts the door, and that's key, because he's an emotional leader, and you knew if he scored, he was going to generate a ton of energy for his team. Denies him in close. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Moves it quickly over to Stahl. Gives him a jolt with that hit. And he passes it up ahead to Pavlik. What a steal in his own end. With possession along the wall. And that pass attempt is deflected. Pass back to the point. Quick pass to Greenway. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And he loses control of the puck. Quick feed to Cox. Denies him! They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Oh, and that's blocked in front. And there's a hit with a little violence. In the third and they go the other way as they clear the zone. And he takes the pass. Moves it to Levesque. And he takes the dish. And now it's grabbed by Street. Here's a short pass to Gretzky. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid victory here in front of them. Pokes it away in his own end. And he hangs on just as time runs out. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. The Giants, based on the way they played, just simply wanted it more tonight, didn't they? Well, they wanted it more. It was a consistent effort all the way around, but, I mean, they held possession of the puck. I mean, their opponent was chasing the game, and they found the back of the net. It was utter domination tonight. What a game, what an atmosphere, and they're not done just yet. Here they come back out onto the ice. Oh, listen to it in here. I mean, it's electric. They just love what they saw.